this is your update for November 18th and 19th. Uh, first things first, I want to start out in celebration corner. We are celebrating a new family that we had this weekend. They had a little 18 month old who mom and dad had, had never left them in the care of anybody other than themselves. And this weekend, for the first time, they walked in with their new little one and into the walker's room. This little one, walker's was over here. <laughs> um, he went in and he went in well. And uh, we had amazing volunteers in there who welcomed him and he went in with no issues. Mom stood at the door amazed and unsure of whether to walk in with her son or to stand outside of the window. After a few tearful moments, she decided that she would stand outside the window for the service and watch as her child interacted with people that he had never been with before. They were amazed. We uh, loved on them. We checked in on them. We asked, um, asked them if they had any questions and they had some really great questions. One of their questions were, do the people serving in this room have their own children? That was a great question, something I would like to know. But their second question to me, was the one that stopped me dead in my tracks. They said, do the people in this room serve every week? You see, for that first time family, knowing that who was in that room would be in that room from then on meant the world to them. That means that they are ready to begin a relationship with us potentially and to trust us. And when we serve weekly, that is how we're gonna impact brand new families who are potentially unchurched or spiritually restless. And that question is the whole reason why we do what we do. So thank you so much to those of you that serve weekly. And if that is a next step that you would love to take, we would love to have you. Come have a conversation with me about that. A couple things coming up I just want to make you aware of. Um, Planning Center is live now. We began this last weekend and I was so impressed with how quickly you guys were making your profiles and responding. I know there's a couple of you that are that did not receive your welcome email. If that is you and you have not made me aware of it, can you please do so by tomorrow, so by Thursday night, so that way I can learn how to get that to you. Reason being, this is the last update in this kind of email format that you're going to get from me. Reason being, there's really not a need for it anymore. I'm going to communicate via Planning Center every need that we have. That is going to be in real time for you guys. So you can log on at any point and to whatever service and whatever um, group, like if it's elementary or preschool. Now granted, walkers and toddlers are also in preschool. You can go log on there and see the needs and sign up for it if you would like. As soon as I send out those emails, all you have to simply do is accept or decline. It is so simple. Um, so if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know how I can serve you. How Sabrina can come alongside of you. We want, this is going to be an incredible tool that's going to help our, our team move full steam ahead. Um, and I want to make sure that you guys are, are using it to the full of its ability. If you have questions on how to find your leader guides or you're just not really sure, I would love to walk through that with you. Um, I, I seriously just want to equip you guys to the best of my ability. Um, and also, you're not going to be getting a call list beyond this week, again, because you can see them in in real time and I can send reminders to you. I can do all of that capability in Planning Center. Um, so there's that. Also coming up this weekend, this is the last weekend for dedication classes. They are at 515 and the nine o'clock service. If you know a family that wants to get dedicated, um, you might want to encourage them to go. If they miss the dedication classes, they have to wait until May to dedicate their kid. So I just wanted to put that out there that this is the last weekend for that. And then dedications are next weekend after Thanksgiving. And then the tough gut question that I want to leave you with is, how are you connecting with God intentionally during the week? Are you taking a walk in nature? Are you sitting quietly in his presence? What Bible study are you going through? Are you Bible art journaling? I mean, there's a ton of ways that we can connect with God. But like any relationship that we have on this side of heaven, we know that we have to put intentional communication into it, give it attention, and you really have to be able to listen and so our relationship with God is no different than what we have here when we can physically see the person in front of us. How are you investing and connecting with God? Love you guys. I'll see you this weekend.